Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabit fillah The question was asked Some brothers ask If you have evidence that you are trustworthy To take knowledge from They want to know which scholar recommended you Or students they are not sure if you are a selfie. A selfie, I guess, means that you are someone who uh, puts their self forward uh, seeking fame or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, and your position on Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili. This is some of the question that was asked uh, about myself. My name is Khalid Green, first and foremost. Uh, to tell you about where I began Talib al-Ilm. Firstly, it began in going to Yemen, sitting briefly with Imam al-Muhaddith, Shaykhana Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamuhu, 1997. After that, my Talib al-Ilm was mainly in Saudi Arabia. In Hail, Saudi Arabia, I studied with Shaykh Saeed, Bin Halal, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, Sheikh Aid Shemri, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, and some of the Tulab al Ilm, Sheikh uh, Abu Abdurrahman, Ihab, Hafidhullah Ta'ala. Then my time was spent in Medina, and from amongst the ulama in Medina that I studied with, were Sheikh Abdul Masan Alama, Abdul Masan Al Abad, Sheikh Saleh Suhaimi, Sheikh Ali Nasser Al Fiqih, Sheikh Ubaid Ibn Abdullah Jabri, Sheikh Ibrahim Al Rahili, Sheikh Suleiman Al Rahili, Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahab Al Aqil, Sheikh Ali Tawajri. Sheikh Abdul Razak Al Abad, half of Allah Ta'ala, and many other Mashaykh in Medina. Also, briefly, Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi was Sheikh uh, Abdullah Bukhari, half of Allah Ta'ala, and many others in the Dorat. And I spent seven years in Medina. Also, I studied at some of the institutions. And I have a master's degree in Islamic studies, but I studied in the language program in, uh, in a program related to Jama Islami in Medina. Uh, I also graduated from the Sharia program uh, in a merkaz called Merkaz Li Ta'lim Kitab wa Sunnah. This was in uh, Jeddah, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, two and a two year program in Sharia. Also, I studied going back and forth to Yemen in Dar al-Hadith, Dar al-Hadith fi Shihr with Sheikh Abdullah ibn Mar'i al-Adani hafadhullah ta'ala and many other tulab al-ilm in Yemen. So this is a little bit about myself and where I've studied. As far as Teskiyat, Sheikh Saeed has, uh, when asked, and written me Teskiyah, and also Sheikh Saeed, this is uh, Bin Hulayl in Hail. Uh, I have a certificate as well from Sheikh Ibrahim Rahali, just as we finished his book, Mokif Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'a, which was two volumes. We studied it over a, I believe it was a two year period from the beginning. To the end, it was his PhD thesis. That's a little bit about myself. As far as Sheikh Ibrahim al Rahili is concerned, I've looked into the issue, and as I've had a fair amount of brothers say, you know, you're confusing the youth, Sheikh Ibrahim al Rahili has been refuted. As Imam Malik said, that Everyone can be refuted, illa sahiba hadha qabr. Imam Malik said, 
when he was teaching in the Prophet Sallallahu Masjid, he said, everyone can be refuted except the inhabitant of that grave. O kullu yurad wa yusib illa sahib ahadhi qabr. O kama qal ahadha qabr, kama qal Imam Malik. So everyone uh, can have their goals accepted or they can be rejected except for the inhabitant of that grave, meaning the Prophet Sallallahu The Prophet Sallallahu also said, Kullu ibn Adam khata wa khayran khatayin atawabun that all the children of Adam make mistakes. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean any of the ulama, it means it contains all the ulama, is the point I'm making. Kullu ibn Adam khata wa khayran khatayin atawabun all the children of uh, Adam make mistakes and the best of those who make mistakes is those who repent. As far as Sheikh uh, Ibrahim Raheli is concerned, in looking at the issue, looking at what the only refutations that I've seen, uh, as far as a Sheikh, I have a book by Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Rabib and Hadi al Madkhali, Hafidullah Ta'ala, uh, which the Sheikh mentions what he believes is shortcomings in Sheikh Ibrahim's Risala, but they're not, I wouldn't really call that a refutation. Secondly, Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari has also has a uh, criticism or a critique of Sheikh Ibrahim Raheli's book on uh, which is uh, Nasihat to Shabab. It's the same same book. So also he mentions where he differs on a pati one particular issue specifically that he differed in that risala. So again, that's just a refutation of a, a work of his that that they feel had shortcomings. But many ulama wrote off on it from amongst them Sheikh Abdul Masin, Sheikh Saleh Sahimi, and many others. I believe Sheikh Ali Nasser Faqih. So it really, you know, the ibra is bil ilm. The proof in any refutation is by knowledge and it's in its adherence to the haq. So looking at those issues, the, the, from the ulama that I know for sure, besides Ahmed Bazmul, may Allah guide us in him. And Sheikh Mohammed bin Hadi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hadi being the most outspoken that I know of as far as refutations from scholars. Now, there's many things from the Tula, but that to me means nothing because most of it is Kalam. But Sheikh Mohammed bin Hadi, I looked at what he said and Sheikh Ibrahim responded to him and Sheikh Obeid uh, Jabri, Hafidhum Allah Ta'ala. And in my view, with my limited knowledge, I believe the haq is with Sheikh Ibrahim. And that doesn't take anything away from those ulama in their criticisms because what I read from Sheikh Obaid is, was not true. May Allah forgive us in him. And I think it's because of the students, and I'm not calling the Sheikh a liar, but I'm saying that those people who related the information to Sheikh Obaid, it was incorrect. And the reason I say that, because Sheikh Ibrahim, if you listen to his tapes, and uh, it's it's clearly the opposite of what they claim uh, about him for and and the main issue being that they say that they claim that Sheikh Ibrahim Raheli says that manners that a person who who doesn't have good manners is not Salafi and this is a blatant lie and the Sheikh addresses that in how many of his lectures he mentions that exact he wrote a I believe 200 300 page refutation of that and it's unfortunately the Sheikh Sheikh Obeid and others took that and believe whoever transmitted this to him or this is what they understood, which is absolutely not true. So this is what we take. As far as taking knowledge from me, I would say don't. If you do not feel comfortable, please don't. If you feel comfortable, please do. If I can benefit one person, because the Prophet Wasallam said, لِيَنْ يَهْدِيَ اللَّهُ بِكَ رَجَلٍ وَاحِدٍ خَيْرًا لَكَ مِنْ حَمْرَ النَّامِ That if one person is guided by your hand, it's better than the red camels. So it doesn't matter to me who refutes me. It doesn't matter to me who rejects me. It doesn't matter to me who warns against me. But I just feel bad for the youth. Because the youth find so much confusion. And I want to mention this. That ulama from Ahl Sunnah, from the beginning of times until the end of times, will have differences. But if you involve yourself in every difference and say so-and-so was refuted. Because we can find many refutations of our Sheikh, Sheikh Rabi' bin Hadi al Madkhali, And we can find refutations of our Sheikh, Alama uh, al muhaddith Sheikh 
uh, Abdelmassan al Abad. And you can find refutations of Sheikh Alama uh, Ubaid ibn Abdullah al Jabri. There's, there's refutations, meaning that everyone makes mistakes. But we look for those things which take you off the Sunnah. And my advice to the youth is do not even approach these issues. Why are you worrying about Sheikh Ibrahim? If you, if you have to take knowledge from me, you shouldn't even be worrying about Sheikh Ibrahim because that means you don't know the Arabic language. So be quiet about these issues. This is my advice. Avoid the fitna. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was surely from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.